OpenAI just accidentally revealed way more about GPT-6 than they meant to. While everyone was laughing at the meme announcement, I caught something in Sam Altman's recent statements that changes everything we thought we knew about the next chat GPT. The timeline? Way sooner than the two-year wait we just had. The features? This isn't just a bigger model, it's something completely different. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm breaking down the real GPT-6 features OpenAI is actually working on. The memory system that remembers everything about you, the autonomous capabilities that let it complete tasks without hand-holding, and the actual release timeline based on Altman's own statements. We're cutting through the fake leaks and the hype to show you what's confirmed and what matters. Let's start with that bizarre announcement. The announcement that broke the internet. Picture. This. It's late October 2025, and GPT-5 has just launched to mixed reviews. Users are calling it colder, less reliable, and honestly, the internet isn't holding back. Then Sam Altman drops a single post on X that changes everything. GPT-6 will be renamed GPT-6-7, you're welcome. Wait, what? Here's where it gets interesting. The timing was absolutely perfect. Dictionary.com had just announced that 6-7, a viral Gen Alpha slang phrase, was the word of the year for 2025. Altman wasn't just announcing a model. He was making a cultural statement, blending internet meme culture with cutting-edge AI in one deadpan post. But was this serious, or just Altman having fun at the internet's expense? The context tells us everything. GPT-5 was taking heat, the narrative needed a reset, and Altman delivered it with surgical precision. One post, instant headlines, the entire tech world talking. India Today called it perfectly when they noted that Altman's sly post blends wit with just enough plausibility to drive tech circles wild. And drive them wild it did. Reddit exploded. Twitter went into overdrive. Everyone had a theory. Now Altman later clarified the comment was playful. But here's the thing. Even jokes from the CEO of OpenAI carry weight. That single post sparked more genuine speculation about GPT-6 than any official press release could have. What OpenAI actually said. Let's cut through the noise and get to the facts. In mid-October 2025, OpenAI spokespeople made something crystal clear. GPT-6 will not be released in 2025, full stop. This wasn't a soft maybe or a we'll see. It was a direct refutation of the wild rumors flooding social media. People were claiming beta access, showing fake screenshots, even selling GPT-6 Pro subscriptions. All of it? Complete fabrication. So what is OpenAI actually doing right now? They're laser-focused on the GPT-5 ecosystem. Think GPT-5.0 refinements. Rolling out GPT-5.1 variants with personality presets and warmer tones. Basically fixing what users complained about. This is their priority before they even think about jumping to the next generation. But here's what makes this interesting. While there's no official release date, Altman dropped some tantalizing hints. He mentioned that the gap between GPT-5 and GPT-6 will be significantly shorter than the nearly 28-month wait between GPT-4 and GPT-5. Remember, GPT-4 launched in March 2023, and GPT-5 didn't appear until August 2025. That's a long time in AI years. And then there's this quote that got everyone excited. Altman emphasized that GPT-6 won't just be bigger, but more useful, with improved personalization, reasoning, and continuity. Notice he didn't lead with parameter counts or training data size. He led with usefulness. Altman also said something that underscores OpenAI's entire philosophy. GPT-6 will be significantly better than GPT-5, and GPT-7 will be significantly better than GPT-6. This isn't about revolutionary leaps. It's about steady, relentless improvement, each generation outperforming the last. 
But wait until you see what that better actually means for GPT-6. The details are where this gets really interesting. What GPT-6 will actually do. Here's where the speculation ends and the credible hints begin. While OpenAI keeps the exact specs under wraps, multiple industry sources have converged on a remarkably consistent picture of what GPT-6 will bring to the table. The headline feature? Memory. Not the short-term, remember what we talked about five minutes ago, kind of memory. We're talking persistent, long-term memory that transforms how the AI works with you over time. Sam Altman put it simply, people want memory. What does that actually mean? Imagine GPT-6 remembering your writing style from last week, your project details from last month, your personal preferences from every interaction you've ever had. It's not just recalling facts. It's understanding context across sessions, storing your tone, your goals, your entire relationship with the AI. This is huge because it shifts chat GPT from being a smart stranger you keep explaining yourself to into something closer to a personal assistant who actually knows you. OpenAI is even working with psychologists on this feature to have GPT-6 track user well-being and emotional responses through its memory system. Think about that for a second. But memory is just the beginning. The next big leap is agency. Current chat GPT answers your questions brilliantly, but it can't really do things for you. GPT-6 changes that equation. Rumors from reliable industry analysts point to expanded automation, where GPT-6 can perform multi-step tasks, browse the web autonomously, and interact with APIs directly, all without you holding its hand through every single step. Instead of telling ChatGPT, search for this, then summarize that, then draft an email, you might just say, handle my research on quantum computing developments, and it actually does it. Breaks down the task, executes each step, brings you the results. This aligns with the broader industry trend toward AI agents like AutoGPT that can self-direct. Then there's the multimodal integration. This one's fascinating because it's not just about adding features, it's about fundamentally changing how the model works. GPT-6 is expected to process text, images, audio, and possibly video as native, first-class inputs. No plugins, no switching modes, no clunky interfaces. You could show it a photo and continue a conversation about it seamlessly. You could speak to it, and it understands not just your words, but your tone. Analysts suggest these won't be bolt-on features, but core capabilities baked into the model's architecture from the ground up. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, scale. Industry observers speculate we're looking at a trillion-plus parameter model trained on quadrillions of tokens. But here's what's more important than those massive numbers. GPT-6 is expected to dynamically scale its computing per query. What does that mean in practice? Simple question. GPT-6 runs a smaller, lightning-fast model. Complex problem that requires deep reasoning? It automatically switches to a bigger thinking model. You get speed when you need speed and power when you need power. This idea of a unified system with on-the-fly routing is already in GPT-5's design, and GPT-6 will refine it even further. But here's what really captures the vision. Altman described GPT-6 as the first truly personal chat GPT, adapting dynamically to each user rather than offering a one-size-fits-all experience. This isn't about making GPT-5 bigger. It's about making AI that collaborates with you, understands you, and grows with you. This next part about the timeline might surprise you. When will GPT-6 actually arrive? Let's map out the timeline with what we actually know. GPT-4 launched in March 2023. GPT-5 appeared in August 2025. That's a 28-month gap. Then, GPT-5.1 arrived just three months later in November 2025. Notice the pattern? The gaps are shrinking. Sam Altman has been explicit about this. In August 2025, he said GPT-6 will arrive much sooner than the two-year gap between GPT-4 and GPT-5. Some analysts at VoiceFlow are even suggesting a public preview as early as mid-2026, with full release by late 2026, 
or early 2027. Exploding Topics reports he thinks GPT-6 should ship within a year or so, predicting a release before the end of 2027 at the latest. But let's be realistic. OpenAI's official stance is clear. No GPT-6 in 2025. They're currently pushing GPT-5 updates and building infrastructure. Work on GPT-6 prototypes is almost certainly happening behind closed doors, but there are no public beta programs yet. So what's a reasonable expectation? Don't circle any dates on your 2025 calendar. A safe bet is 2026 or 2027 for an actual rollout. Even if exact dates slip, the trend is clear. OpenAI intends shorter gaps between major releases as hardware scales and data grows. The accelerated pace makes sense when you consider the competitive pressure. Google has Gemini, Anthropic has Claude, and new players keep emerging. OpenAI can't afford to sit still for 28 months anymore. But this next question is the one everyone's really asking. Are we getting closer to AGI? Here's where the conversation gets philosophical and exciting. How does GPT-6 fit into the quest for artificial general intelligence? Sam Altman clearly believes each GPT release is a step closer to true intelligence. He's hinted that GPT-5 is already helping humans make real scientific breakthroughs. And GPT-6? He suggests it will be even better at that kind of work. India Today paraphrases Altman saying, GPT-5 might help expand science, doing important piece of physics, or aiding biologists. In his view, each generation is more than a chatbot. It becomes a partner in discovery. Memory and personalization, those central GPT-6 goals we talked about, are often cited as key missing pieces for AGI. Demis Hassabis, CEO of DeepMind, has explicitly said, long-term memory is a critical gap. AI analysts argue, that equipping models with persistent memory could be the breakthrough that binds together all their skills. Think about it. What makes human intelligence general? Partly, it's our ability to learn from every experience and carry that learning forward. We don't reset after every conversation. We accumulate knowledge, refine our understanding, and adapt based on history. With GPT-6 planning to remember you personally, it starts to blur the line between a mere question-answering bot and a virtual assistant that learns and grows with you. And then there's agency. Letting GPT-6 autonomously carry out complex tasks pushes it closer to an AI that can actually do things in the world, not just talk about them. If it can operate APIS, browse the web, and plan multi-step actions, it becomes a more general-purpose agent. Each improvement in reasoning, memory, and autonomy is like checking off another item on the AGI checklist. But here's where we need some cold water. Not everyone is buying the hype. AI researcher Gary Marcus has been a vocal critic, calling GPT-5 a disappointment. Marcus and others warn that even GPT-6 won't automatically be AGI. It may just be a better GPT, still fundamentally limited in ways we don't fully understand yet. On the other hand, OpenAI founder Greg Brockman and others argue that steadily scaled models are cumulatively making rapid progress. Altman likes to point to OpenAI's track record of steady improvement as evidence we're on the right path. Who's right? Honestly, we won't know until GPT-6 actually launches and we can test its capabilities. For now, GPT-6 represents a vision of where AI is heading. More personalized, more autonomous, more capable of actual doing rather than just discussing. Whether it crosses the AGI threshold remains to be seen, but it undeniably pushes the boundary further than we've ever gone. What the tech world is saying, as news of GPT-6 spread, reactions have been all over the map. Let me break down what different corners of the internet are saying. First, there's the misinformation problem. The internet went absolutely wild with rumors and clickbait. Multiple sketchy websites and social posts falsely claimed ChatGPT-6 is out right now. Unscrupulous scammers even started offering fake GPT-6 Pro subscriptions or apps. It got bad enough that OpenAI had to publicly debunk these claims. 
Data Studios put it bluntly, any GPT-6 product you can buy today is fraudulent, period, because the model doesn't exist yet. If someone's trying to sell you access, run. On Reddit and Twitter, the tech community has been having a field day parsing every scrap of information. Many agreed that Altman's GPT-6-7 announcement was just him jumping on a meme bandwagon. One user joked, We're renaming GPT-6 to GPT-6-7 so users think we're innovating, but it's really just GPT-4 with glitter and anxiety. The humor captures the skepticism mixed with anticipation. Among researchers and experts, opinions vary sharply. Gary Marcus remains unimpressed and doubtful about the entire GPT trajectory. But others are more optimistic. AI commentators note that Altman's emphasis on memory aligns with what many researchers have been wanting for years. Dario Amade, OpenAI co-founder now running Anthropic, has discussed ideas for giving models continual learning abilities. Demis Hassabis at DeepMind highlighted memory as potentially the last big bottleneck before AGI. Industry observers and media outlets have been more measured. After GPT-5's rocky reception, OpenAI clearly wants to regain user trust. The Times of India called the GPT-5.1 update a nice upgrade, a morale booster just before the GPT-6 conversations began. Tech blogs like VoiceFlow and Data Studios have run detailed explainers trying to separate fact from fiction emphasizing that official announcements are still forthcoming. The general sentiment? People believe something significant is coming. Memory, agents, better reasoning. But they also know that until OpenAI opens up officially, many claims are just educated speculation. As Data Studios put it, the situation is deeply confusing because some sources claim GPT-6 already exists, while others insist it's still secret. Only official word from OpenAI can settle this debate. The bigger picture. So where does this leave us? GPT-6 is shaping up to be more than just another model iteration. It represents a fundamental shift in how AI systems work. From tools that answer questions to assistants that remember, learn, and act on your behalf. While Sam Altman's announcement was more prank than press conference, it opened a genuine conversation about what next-gen AI should do. The leaked hints and expert analyses point to persistent memory, stronger reasoning and autonomy, and smoother, more personalized interactions. If those capabilities deliver as promised, GPT-6 could push us meaningfully closer to AGI by transforming CHAT-GPT from a simple chatbot into a learning acting partner. But let's be clear about what we're actually waiting for. GPT-6 remains in development. OpenAI is improving GPT 5.1, preparing infrastructure, and laying groundwork. Only when they're ready will the curtain rise on the real GPT-6. Until then, we're in a period of anticipation mixed with healthy skepticism. The accelerated development pace suggests OpenAI recognizes the competitive pressure and the tremendous opportunity. Shorter gaps between releases, more focused improvements, and a clearer vision of AI as personal assistant rather than impersonal tool. These are the threads running through the GPT-6 story. What matters most isn't the memes or the hype cycles. It's the direction of travel. AI is becoming more capable, more personalized, and more integrated into how we work and think. GPT-6 is a milestone on that journey one that promises to bring memory and agency to the forefront of how we interact with these systems. Thanks for sticking with me through this deep dive into the GPT-6 announcement. If you found this analysis helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth AI updates. I'll continue tracking this story and bringing you the facts as they develop. Here's my question for you. What do you think GPT-6 should be able to do? What would make it genuinely useful in your work or life? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I read every single one, and they help shape future videos. Stay curious, stay skeptical, and keep pushing AI to be better. See you in the next one.